Hello everybody, Jill with Greenwood Girl Cards. I'm coming on to share some tags I made and I'm this is the second time I've filmed this video. I'm gonna split it into a couple parts because I've made a lot of stuff and I don't want the videos to be too long. Um, so the first tag I made uses this um, Christmas printable from Arala Miha shop on Etsy. This is one that I've had for many years and um, I bought it because I just thought this gingerbread image and all the house images and the you know the different printables um, were great to have for Christmas. So um, for today's tag I'm using this gingerbread uh, and I isolated him and printed him in different sizes. I'm using this uh, Sweet Christmas Expressions printable and I printed this also in different sizes so I could have different size sentiments. I am using this Halloween printable and specifically I'm using this jar. Um, and you'll find this in the Halloween section at Arala Miha shop on Etsy. And then this kind of shows you what I do is you can print these and if you have a scan and cut or another type of cutting machine, you can also just have the machine cut them all, which is nice. So um, this, uh, these are the things that I used. And if you aren't familiar with Arala Miha's shop, I'm just going to show you her, her web address is right there. Okay, so that you can type that in if you need to find her shop. Um, and I'll try and link it in the uh, comment area of this video also. So um, I made, using those products, I made two different size uh, gingerbread tags. And um, I, glued, I glued the gingerbread that I had cut um, to the mason jar. And then I added a tag and various laces and uh, ribbons. I added a little uh, snowflake from Hobby Lobby, and that's just a glittery snowflake. And then I also added some glue and glitter to different spots on the tag, as you can see. Um, and that's just some Martha's, I, th I think actually that's a Hobby Lobby coarse glitter um, that I've had for years. I bought one big jar of it and I use it every Christmas. So, and then I added a little bit of stickles on his hat just to give a little sparkle by the bell that I added, and this is a Brad. So, um, oh, and then a candy cane too. So I cut off the top of the little candy cane charms from Hobby Lobby. So um, this is the bigger size one. And then in comparison, I'll show you um, the smaller size one. So this is the size comparison. So depending on what sizes you print things, you can make big tags or small tags. And you know, so this, is, this one's almost the size of my hand, whereas this one's just about the size of my fingers. Um, so anyway, uh, I'll, I'll go through these really quick. Um, they're all pretty much the same, but they have different um, sayings on them. So this one says, baked with love. And then this one says, gingerbread kisses. And on this one, I just used some felt. And uh, I've been playing around with some red yarn and crocheting different things uh, for my tags. And I'll, I'll show you in my next video that I, I actually crocheted some baby scarves for some gingerbread men. So anyway, these I just think turned out so cute. Here's the whole pile that I made of the little ones too. Um, and they all just have different sentiments from that printable. It's gingerbread time. This one says baked with love. This one says merry gingerbread season. Uh, this one says gingers bring smiles, which is something I always say. And, uh, Let's see, That's that one says the same thing. It's gingerbread time. This one says Mary, and you can see this is a larger size sentiment again. And then this one says baked with love. So um, I just thought these were so cute and they turned out so fun. And you know I love anything with mason jars on them. Um, and then, uh, so that's all of those. And then I also wanted to share really quick, I made one more candy cane tag. And on this one, I die cut the word sweet, which I have from my Paper Sweeties. Um, this is a Paper Sweeties die from when I used to design for them. And I just glued it together three times. And then I used the little um, area in the S to tie it onto the ribbons and bells. So this again is that candy cane from Impression Obsession. And I have a whole video of different candy cane tags that I made, but this was one more that I had done. So I just thought I would share that at the end of this video. Um, I'm gonna be back in just a few minutes with another video showing some really cute gingerbread tags as well as some little book tags. So I'll see you in a few minutes with another video. 
Bye for now. I hope you guys are all having a good week.